Joining us in the studio, we have a special guest in the spirit of Halloween. Yeah. We have uh, Bert Thames with the RGV Paranormal Lockdown, and he's here to speak to us a little <laughs> bit about his his company here and get, do a little bit of a, of a test to see what we can find in our studio Ooh. this morning. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much we're for having me. We're scared excited. Yeah, we're scared excited. <laughs> I made that up. <laughs> yeah, so thank you so much. You brought a bunch of tools here, but before we get into this part, mm. tell me about RGV Paranormal Lockdown. How did that get started and what do you do? Well, um, I started, you know, I'm doing investigations since 2015, you know, where I had the pleasure and honor to join a couple of groups until 2020 during quarantine. I, you know, developed my own company, RGV Paranormal Lockdown and investigations to famous places here in the RGV. Nice. Now, from some of those famous places, we're looking at video from some of your investigations. What would you say is the most haunting experience you've had when you when you go out and visit somewhere it would have to be at the rialto theater by far okay. at this moment uh -oh. um you know not only that we've actually gotten in contact with residual spirits that actually do reside there but my grandparents actually came forward to me also wow <laughs> that must have been a, a very unique experience what? there it was touching <laughs> yeah it, it was touching to me and uh you know it brought a lot of closure to me and my family that's good that's good so yeah. you're not only you know doing these investigations but you're helping people as well right? yes yes i actually do go to people's homes also or any place of business you know to see what actually does reside there okay and um, you know, just trying to find some answers and closure for those for those families also. Nice. Now, RGV Paranormal Lockdown. You use tools, devices to help you discover what is lingering in some of these businesses, some of these homes, and some of these places. Now, you have several things out here on our desk. What are we looking at here, and how do we use these? So, some of the equipment that I have here are top of the line. Like for example, the REM pod. Like a radio. Yes. That's too scary. And then we have the PMB, <laughs> which is a paranormal music box that I have here as well. It, it, that's what I thought, yes. Jessica. <laughs> <laughs> you read my mind. So, okay. What is happening? Ready to pair. Okay. Adam, what did so you do? So that, no. So this, <laughs> this right here actually has a motion sensor in front of it, which only you have to stand here within eight to 10 feet, but there's nothing there. There's nothing moving. So, oh, my laugh sounded kind of evil there. What's going on? <laughs> is there any, okay, is there any spirits here that would like to communicate with us? Can you give us a word or can you make one of these devices go off? Thank you. And the EMF reader went off also Please to. Please don't the, stop. Please don't stop. Don't stop. So, where are we right now? What can you see? Can you see us can you see the equipment here if you can we are also silent right now <laughs> this is the quietest we've ever heard this morning team We're talkers. <laughs> all right that's interesting all right uh -huh. well I, I don't want to ignore that but there's also these things up here in the front what, what are yes those so those <laughs> are cat balls um so i call them ghost balls i mean you can get them on amazon they're not very expensive at all very cheap but those only go off whenever you Okay, <laughs> so I so here the ramp powder works. You have to get very close to the antenna in order for it to do that. So I'm right here, so it can't do anything. Anyways, I was saying those ghost balls, you get them on Amazon, and they're only by motion. So they're not voice activated. They're not, you know, like, like that. I'm not anywhere near this. The sensor's right here. Okay. So there's no way for me to... Oh. Hold on. Uh-oh. So you always have to debunk these things. So anyway, if you come over here and you touch the ghost ball, it'll light up just like that. It looks like okay. Christmas. Right. <laughs> Favorite. <laughs> okay. So when you go out to places, you set things up kind of like this right here. Now this one, okay. they mentioned it looks like a little coffin. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, once you start getting activity here, do you do that? You ask questions, you try to get some answers. Do you want to mm -hmm. try doing it one more time, see what we get here? Sure. Okay. Um, can you mm. give us a girl? Thank you. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we have a female presence here. Or are you seeing a girl? There's, we have two. So, <laughs> which one? Is it the one wearing a black suit? Uh-oh. Oh, no. Or? Uh -oh. I knew I shouldn't have worn black. <laughs> it's scary. So, we have the EMF reader going off at the 2.5 milligauss. So, that's the. <gasps> I blame Adam. No. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. So we're not alone. Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh my goodness. How do you feel, Daniel? Um, a little shaky. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. 
<laughs> it's Adam makes us do these things. This it's interesting how everything starts going <laughs> off at once. Yeah. Uh, that is, wow. So, yeah, well, there, there's nobody in front of the sensor here. There's no. nothing right here next to the antenna. There's no way for those to go off like that at all. All right. Now, do you think maybe it's some of the stuff we have around here? I don't, I don't know. It's too far away from the devices. Okay. We did Samuel. Samuel. Okay. Do you have a middle name, anybody? Samuel? <laughs> so here I have a spirit talker that actually uh, comes up with different wordings to say. There's no way for me to program or for, you know, to say what I wanted to say at all. So it just, it's just random. This is how I found out that my grandparents got in contact with me. It said, it's granddad. And I, wow. you know, I said, whose granddad are you? Are you my granddad? And then the REM parts started going off. Wow. So the spirit talker came out with my grandmother's name, Francis. And I was like, wow. So. That's amazing. All right, so where do you go? How do people get a hold of you if they are interested in maybe getting some of this, you know, done in their homes, in their businesses as well? <laughs> um, how do Hard they find concentrate. you? You could always email me at uh, rgbparanormallockdown at gmail.com or you could even Facebook message me as well. I don't charge any fees at all whatsoever. Oh, okay. um, you know, I get paid by experience of, you know, conducting the investigation of the paranormal. Mm. Wow. The more I learn, the better I get and more knowledge and experience, really, because it's something that nobody can take away from you. Yeah. Do wow. y'all have any questions for Bert? <laughs> um, I have one. Okay. The lights went out earlier in the studio. They it did. was uh, due to a weather technicality, we assume. I don't know. Mm -hmm. do, do, <laughs> I'm not sure do about that. I mean, <laughs> a weather weather can have a lot to do with it, but it's always good for spiritual energy as well, okay. which could be a good reason why that we're getting a little bit of activity here. That's okay. what we were wondering. We knew you were coming, so we were going to see if it was mm. a little correlation there. So yeah. Very interesting. Interesting. What was you, that? You brought the cold weather. You're okay here. Oh. You were okay here. Okay. So no, it's a safe studio. Yes. I'll take yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> well, before we head to a break, uh, is there one more thing you want to check out or try or let us know? Um, so or maybe they're answering that, for? That's for what me? I was thinking. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. <laughs> oh, yeah, <whatever. laughs> All right. Well, one more time. Where can we find you before we head to, to our break? Uh, any social media page that's out there. Facebook, uh, mostly YouTube. Please uh, subscribe to RGB Paranormal Lockdown on YouTube. I would really appreciate that. Uh, but yes, okay. if y'all need any help with any sort of paranormal activity, please feel free to let me know. I feel I'll like we need to keep you around for more of this I right know, now. This is crazy. This is